Okay, I'm going to be reviewing a PlayStation game for you today. This is Fed and Lee 1169. It's only PlayStation 1. Pretty rare game, to be honest. Um, picked it up at car boot sale for the small price of £5. So, here we just boot it up. Do apologise about the picture quality. I'm actually recording this via a real PlayStation and the RF's outlet. Not SCART, so... It's not brilliant quality picture, but watchable on YouTube so we start the game it's loading up now here's the title screen finally 11.79 here comes the introduction choose your language the movements and actions of the cars in this game occur only in a virtual world do not under any circumstances attempt these maneuvers in reality didn't get a chance to read it so this game is brought to us by ASCII Entertainment and Climax so I'll just let you watch the video. In the late 16th century, archaeologist Thomas Samuel discovered the route to a previously unexplored city of gold. There he found vast amounts of treasure and caskets buried in the ground which contained gems, gold bars and the corpses of ancient kings. there was one casket that could not be opened. Eventually, the casket was purchased at an auction by the entrepreneur Albert Brookman IV for two million dollars. His late grandfather's writings described a set of keys that would open the casket. Treasures valuing many millions of dollars lie hidden in this casket. There are three keys, the jade statue, the golden wing, and the silver staff. All three keys are required to open the casket. To find the keys, Mr. Brookman hired a man feared in the business world for his characteristics of ruthless pursuit and disregard for the law. Okay, so here's Felony 1179 right now. It's loading up. Um, so, just wait for it to load up. Now, as you can see, you've got your options. You can, um, well, I'm just going to go straight to start because you only get 10 minutes on YouTube. Um, we got a few maps right here. I'm going to choose downtown and you choose your vehicle. Um, there's these locked um, locked vehicles as you can see here. And There's a couch on there somewhere, the bulls I think, if I remember correctly. The, uh, the, there was a sequel to this game actually on the Dreamcast um, called uh, Runabout, Super Runabout 2. This is um, basically Runabout 1. Um, so we get a little mission brief and we start the game. As you can see, <laughs> I'm just smashed into a building sideways, drifted into a building, ready. and now we're ready to go. Now basically, as you can see, the graphics go. are good for the PlayStation 1, really good, and they've got, it's got big maps and stuff, and quite free roaming as well. Um, so, we drive down this straight into town. Oh, just hit a police car, ouch, that looks really good. Oh, my mini's on fire! Ah. Oh my god, watch out for these guys. Oh. You can, you can, I don't think you can run around because I think they can move out the way just in time. A bit like Carmageddon style. Um, so, so we are now entering town. Um, as you can see. Entering the city. Uh, you gotta, what you got to do is not hit that <laughs> That's for start. What you got to do is you got to um, collect these items located on the radar. Can you see them on the bottom right? These flashing dots. Um, these are bombs you've got to collect on the level. So. We go for it. Woohoo! I'm in my mini mini bitchish mini mini mini. Oh, so we, we go across here. Yeehaw! Oh, what we don't do is crash into a police car head on. <laughs> That's not what we don't do. So, here comes one of the, um, the items. So, as you can see, I've got one of the bombs. So, we've got four left to go. And we'll just look on the radar and go the right way to find all the bombs. Whoa, watch out for the tram right there. So, graphics are good, nice and colourful, um, pretty high detail, uh, good resolution. Um, so, music's not bad either. It's got a very arcade feel, I presume it is an arcade machine as well. Don't quote me on that because I'm not entirely sure, but I presume it is an arcade machine. So, watch out for... Uh, ooh, that was close. <laughs> Whoa. They seem to hop along the pedestrians if you 
ringrazio Ozzo <laughs> yeah if you saw my mini community watcher anyway so we'll get the items yeah I got two items left to go so uh, yeah continue on then have a oh in the smash through the shopping centre oh you fuck so we're gonna go for the shopping centre ah. it's not much of a shopping centre really it's more like just a Vulcan <laughs> with a uh, time doesn't change and stuff in it here's another item let's get the item one item left to get there and if you look on the bottom left, you've got your speed up on the turn, you've got your fuel gauge, and on the very bottom you've got damage, and which is cars and damage, and uh, the bottom right you've got your radar, um, top right you've got your uh, top, top, top left, the time. Whenever you hit something, it tells you on the top right when you hit. So, you won't see that until it's a fence, fence, see it, see if I'm booth, it actually tells you. Tells you what you've been hitting. Very good game, very playable. I enjoyed this game very much. Great if you want to get your PlayStation 1 out. Bear in mind I'm not running this on an emulator, I'm actually running this um, on a real PlayStation with connected to the PC recording directly from the PS1 itself. So um, I don't know how it would fare in your good old emulators. You could try it, I've never tried it in an emulator. We keep going, we're going a long way apparently so I'm turning around. There's a state at the front of my car, do you think um, we get a bit battered? I mean, I'm, I'm thinking real life, if, if your car was like that, then I think, um, <laughs> I don't think it'd be going anywhere, or at least if I had a MRT. Anyway, so we continue on our uh, driving. Uh, we've only got 74 seconds left, so I don't, it up. I don't think I'm going to make it to be honest. I'm just going to go all back through town. Ouch! Oh, you beef! So, we continue on. Um, Woohoo! Yeehaw! Um, so, off we go. Downtown. Watch out for, watch out for the tramp, or the bulls, or whatever it is. Ah! Oh my god! Mini! Woo! Whoa, that was a bit of a crash. Think I'm okay? I don't think I'm dead. So we keep going. Uh, ouch! So, yep. If we go down this straight path right here. There's a lot of levels on the game. Keep you from the news for areas. It's, it's got great graphics for PS1. One of the better looking games I'd have to say. So, we are about to come to a class. So. That's Fenley 1179. I'm going to give Fenley 1179 a 9 out of 10.